Good day to you. My name is Maria Kunjelska and this is Pelon Daily Culture. And we take you today to Chicago because with us on Skype is Richard of Schanne, the president of Polish Museum in America in Chicago. Thank you very much for this call. Oh, thank you for having uh, having me and having the opportunity to talk about uh, the Polish Museum of America. So uh, it's around 7 a.m. in uh, in your place right now in Chicago. Yes, yeah. yes it is. Yes. So an an early wake up, but uh, so and tell us a few words about the the history of this museum. Uh, how when it started, and was the was what was the trigger to have it? Of course, I mean there's huge Polonia in Chicago. But uh, how old is the museum so far already? So the museum you know, has an has a, you know, interesting history in the sense that uh, the attempt to uh, start a museum of Polish heritage and culture didn't start in 1935 when the museum was founded by the Polish Roman Catholic Union. You have to go back several years earlier. Many attempts were made by Chicago Polonia to house building where uh, uh, the Polish culture can be highlighted. Um, many attempts were made, uh, but they all failed. Uh, starting in the early 1920s, uh, the, uh, the Polish Roman Catholic Union, under the leadership of uh, Jan Kania, the president of the, of the Polish Roman Catholic Union, many attempts within the Polish Roman Catholic Union to, to set aside funds to uh, uh, organize and found a, a museum. Um, their activity is based on their conventions, and uh, the attempt was made several times at several conventions. And then finally, in 1933, the uh, delegates approved the, the motion to set aside funds to uh, organize and fund a, a Polish museum. At that time, it was called the uh, um, Museum and Archives of the Polish Roman Catholic Union of America, uh, and then uh, officially founded in 1935. And then two years later, officially opened in January of 1937. Uh, the two-year difference was the af actual uh, work that was needed to gather documents, artifacts, exhibits uh, for the museum. Um, our first curator, Mitrisov Hyman, uh, was the uh, driving force behind uh, getting all these these things for the for a museum. Um, he sent appeals throughout the country, throughout Europe, asking for anything and, and everything, whether it was books, whether it was uh, a, an artifact, whether it was a piece of art, whatever he could get his hands on, he, he made an appeal. And, and the beginning years of the, Pol of the, the uh, Polish Museum was confined to one room, which today is the uh, uh, the uh, Paderewski room, and uh, that was our beginnings. You know, in 1935, and then, like I said, the 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 the, the uh, appeal to to gather uh, documents and, and artifacts for the museum for the official opening in 1937. So uh, the official opening was in 1937, so two years before the war, and then something else happened. So there was a big exhibition in New York when a lot of Polish artifacts also flew to or uh, were, were brought to U.S. and then the war started and they were never sent back. Uh, and it, as I understand, a lot of those artifacts eventually ended up in the, in the museum, yes? Correct. In 1939, uh, the World's Fair opened up in, in New York City, and uh, uh, Poland was well represented with the Polish pavilion uh, at the World's Fair. Uh, the, 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 the pavilion included, you know, uh, included art, included commerce, included the sciences, included every aspect of Polish culture had at the time uh, and exhibited it on, on, uh, at the fair. In, uh, with the outbreak of World War One, uh, pardon me, World War Two, uh, the uh, uh, artifacts were still on display. The fair closed in 1940, uh, and as as we all know, our history: uh, Poland was under occupation between uh, Nazi Germany and Soviet Union. The, the return of the well, yeah, what was what this, the the question was: What do we do with these with these with these with this pavilion? And again, through the efforts of Mr. of Hyman. Um, he made a, a uh, appeal to the commissioners that the uh, artifacts, since they cannot go back to Poland, there is no Polish government to accept the uh, the artifacts. Uh, the commission uh, made a decision to donate artifacts, but also the, the Polish museum ended up uh, purchasing certain artifacts 
we probably have, I'd say, around 60% of the pavilion uh, artifacts in the museum, uh, whether they're on display right now or whether they're in storage. So they ended up, you know, uh, staying here in the United States. The tragedy was the actual pavilion uh, was uh, was uh, destroyed, torn down. Um, the only artifact that, you, if you go to New York today from the World's Fair, from the Polish pavilion, is the statue of uh, Jagiełło, which is in Central Park today, uh, which was actually three years ago under uh, uh, conservation and and uh, repair, and and uh, I think in uh, 2019 it was reunveiled, re and today sits in, like I said, in Central Park. Exactly. So it's always, I would say, brings like pose a little bit gobsmack when they pass for a new or a Central Park, and then they see like Jagiełło. What's he doing here? <laughs> Right. And, and right. as a, yeah, as I understand the story is here from from the pavilion. But uh, what else? So, what kind of artifacts did you get? And what's the, what's the most precious from from this time, from the from the fair? Well, you really can't say which is the most precious. I think uh, one of the most recognizable artifacts from the pavilion is uh, is the uh, stained glass, uh, Poland Reborn. Uh, we use that as our uh, our moniker for for many things you know that we uh, whether it's in print or whether it's on our website uh, the 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 uh, stained glass is a you know, two-story uh, uh, stained glass figure which shows you know contemporary Poland interwar Poland uh, with in the center uh, uh, the figure of Poland reborn and uh, and and the various cities in Poland the uh, various industries of Poland it's a beautiful beautiful stained glass and we're very proud of that uh, that artifact that we were able to save it and stands today in the Polish Museum of America in addition to the uh, to the stained glass we received uh, all the practically all the art that was found that was on display during the during the World's Fair. We'll talk more about it in the next episode. But of course, this beautiful stained glass is behind me and right now on our background. So I hope all of you can see it. And of course, we invite for those of you who have a chance to go to the to the Polish Museum in America and Chicago and just see it yourself and stay with us for another episode. Thank you very much for watching.